I never thought you'd ask me to play tennis as a way to get to know each other. That's crazy. Like light. While it's true that Kira hates losing, it's also true that most people would rather win than lose. I don't see any way that he can profile me based on a tennis match. Just well, overanalyzing every you. single thing. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to episode 10 of Death Note, Doubt. Last episode, we had the stunning moment happen where not only did L infiltrate the exams with Light, not only did he get into the same school as Light, but he also revealed to him point blank that he is L, leading Light to kind of spiral. What are your thoughts entering this episode? I think I'm most looking forward to seeing what Light does now that he knows L's identity, because yeah. I feel like up until this point, and he's been thinking through it, there's really nothing he can do. So I feel like that's definitely not going to sit right with him, and he's either going to figure out something to do or lose it. I think L's going to continue to push his buttons, and every episode we think that L kind of has it in the bag or light has it in the bag the other one pulls out a masterful move yeah i mean they're momentum, just so, so evenly matched it's fun to watch please make sure to like comment and subscribe down below if you're excited for this episode and more coming every thursday and sunday at 12 p.m eastern standard time uh, if you want to watch episodes early these episodes are all posted to patreon they're extended uncut forms are we excited for episode 10 of death note absolutely all right let's get it let's go Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. I have to admit, I was surprised for you, guy. I never thought you'd ask me to play tennis as a way to get to know each other. <laughs> Is it a problem for you? <laughs> Not at all. Do you hate tennis? But when you first invited <laughs> me to play, did you know how good I was? Yes. What a douchebag thing to say. It's been a while, <laughs> yeah. but at one time I was actually the British junior champion. Oh my god. If I ask him if he's British. Wonder if that's true. I'm trying to find out more about him because I'm Kira. <laughs> But if I don't yeah, ask and he's not L, then right. I'm like rude, <laughs> you know, for not asking. For about five years yeah. when I was younger, but save your breath. Nothing in that story would reveal L's true identity, I promise you. Huh. Oh, is that so? Well, since it's our first match, why don't we just play a single set? First one to six? That's fine. This is me. such a brazen, like, investigation. But here. the thing is, he's. <laughs> It's He's completely protected by this could be a stand-in. Yeah. Like El could have sent some rando. Kira, mm -hmm. But I know Kira hates to lose. Whoa. Alright, El. Fifteen love. Whoa, Ryuga. You sure don't mess around. He who strikes first wins. What do you mean you're not hey. at liberty to say? I'm very I mean, in sorry, a show sir. that's all tit for tat, that's interesting. We're under yeah. orders from L not to discuss the case with anyone, including you. I'm not asking for details here, just what you're doing and where. I'm very sorry, sir. So details. Yeah. <laughs> kind of you the know, only young details. Man, right. It's been four months since this case came to the public's attention and they want results. People are saying that the NPA is incompetent, that L is incompetent. With all due respect, sir. The rest of the department runs away with their tails between their legs and we're incompetent? If you're concerned with public opinion, then you'll want to suppress the fact that most of our detectives would rather let a serial killer roam free than risk their lives. Please excuse me. Yagami. Yeah, he's what about this understandably character? pissed. Mm -hmm. Can he be trusted? In my opinion, he's a lot more capable than we are right now, even as we speak. He's risking his life. <laughs> risking his life. <laughs> I Everybody's mean, kinda. watching. <laughs> are these two really amateurs? Here we Who go. Are they anyway? I think their names are Light Yagami and Hideki Yuga. These are the same two guys who scored perfect on the exam. That's crazy. Light. While it's true that Kira hates losing, it's also true that most people would rather win than lose. It's human nature. Mm. Is he going to think that I'm Kira if I go for the win? <laughs> I suppose I could just lose on purpose, but if I do, it could work against me. Since he'd expect Kira to want to win, he might also expect what? me to throw the match to avoid suspicion. This is... <laughs> I don't see any way that he can profile me based on a tennis match. So, I have to assume he has This is exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. 
just overanalyzing every single thing. Yeah. Okay, they're not going to let each other win. Look at that. He's going for the win. That's four games all. Light Yagami to serve. <laughs> and just like that, we've got an umpire and a line judge. What? Oh, you, you won't believe this. I thought I'd heard the name Light Yagami somewhere before, so I checked. He was the 0203 Junior High Tennis Champion. Apparently, during the third year award ceremony, he announced that he was hanging up his racket. And I guess he hasn't played competitively <laughs> Just decided since. to retire. Hey, hey, what about my Ryuga? Don't tell me you haven't noticed him holding his own against this former junior high champ. Huh. Oh, the junior I high champ. I oh. Light Yagami. I'm already in your head. There's no way this tennis match will deepen our friendship. This is a token gesture. An elaborate act we'll go through so we can say we're closer. I'm sure you'll tell me you need to know if you can trust me first. And of course, the only way to win your trust will be to share what I know about Kira. <laughs> if you want me to discuss Kira with you, the mental it only makes sense that I'd want to ask And it's the what they're doing. You are in mm -hmm. charge of the investigation. And more importantly, that you are really ill as you say you are. So it goes without saying that the first thing you're going to want from me is... Some kind of confirmation from a third party that you really are ill. Which means... We'll have to go to Task Force Headquarters. In all things, one cannot win with defense alone. To win, you must attack! He wow. strikes first wins. Mm -hmm. Game and set! Won by Light Yagami! Wow. Six games to four! Wow. And, okay, that was Unreal. amazing. What a scene okay. there. Seeing that tennis match, like, as a personification of their mental, like, tennis match back and yeah. forth was really fascinating like because mm -hmm. like you were right about how they presented it like the way that it was like thinking of the move after the move after the move after the move well it's just it it's i mean it's it's funny but it's not funny it's um just it's pattern recognition yeah it's anxiety overthinking like obsession you'd be great at this you'd just be like oh why do you think i already know everything wow you're just lazy. this in. is how my brain works <laughs> i have to think about every you'd be possible a great detective thing. i couldn't do that though because i would puke but yeah the like million steps ahead and like what if this person has this intention and what if what if they had an interaction with someone else and they're trying to get this from this thing just as i expected you beat me it's been a while since i had to play that hard that was crazy. I'm feeling kind of thirsty. Plus, there's something I wanted to ask you about. You want to go somewhere for a drink? Kind of thirsty. You humored me with a tennis match. The least I can do is answer some of your questions. But before this conversation goes any further, there's something I must tell you. What's that? I suspect that you, Light Yagami, are in fact Kira. What? Now, if you still want to ask me something, then please go ahead. What? She's coming right out with it. <laughs> Or is that I like a play, though? Yeah. Well, when I say I suspect you, it's only a 1% possibility. That aside, I it's don't mind 5%. telling you that once I'm sure you aren't, Kira, and I can verify that your deductive skills are as strong as I think they are, I'd like nothing more than to have you work with me on this investigation. Ah, uh, it's like a false test. Or like, what if he does he pass and joins the task force? That was well worded. Because no matter how little he no. says he suspects me, it means he has grounds to prevent me from meeting anyone on the task force. It was quite the preemptive move on his part. Mm. He got me. <laughs> this coffee shop is one of my favorites. Can't go to headquarters. And if we sit nope. here, there's no chance of anyone wow. overhearing us. Not to mention, we're so out of the way here, no one's going to give you a hard time about the way you sit. <laughs> I don't sit like this because I want to. I have to sit like this. You see, if I were to sit normally, my deductive skills would immediately be reduced by roughly 40%. Wow. Interesting. So, what was it you wanted to ask me? Right. I'm sure Just that cause? I can wait until you're convinced yeah. that I'm not Kira. So please, let's talk about whatever you want to. You're under no obligation to do this, but would you mind submitting yourself no, but to I'm a so test innocent. of reasoning skills? A test of his... <laughs> sure, why not? Sounds like fun. All right, then. We can begin by taking a look at these. Okay, what is the test? Photographs of three notes written by prison inmates while under Kia's control just prior to their deaths. Oh. None of this information has been made public. Oh. You can take as long as you want to look them over. Please let me know what you think. Come on, this is child's play. There's a print number on the back of each of these photographs. Because he can't solve them too fast. Yeah. He ignored this fact and was still able to come up with the phrase, L, do you know, gods of death love apples. What would that mean? Clearly, if I read it the way Kira intended on my first attempt, I'd only look more suspicious. 
but the fact that I'm able to solve this silly code isn't enough on its own to prove that I'm Kira. Whoa. It would be quite amazing to learn that not only could Kira kill others, but could also control his victim's actions. I think Kira wrote these and it seems he's encoded a message for you as well, almost as if he's mocking you. Huh. If you line these notes up side by side and take a look at the first letter of every line, it reveals a message. Rearranging it like this gives you... L, do you know? Gods of death love apples. <laughs> But there are obvious print numbers on the back of all these photographs. Arrange it in that order we get. L, do you know? Love apples, gods of death. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. And based on that, it's hard to believe that Kiddo would have wanted you to read it this way. That's incorrect. Uh -huh. The thing is, there were actually four photographs. When we add this one, it reads... L, do you know? Gods of death who love apples have red hands. It's a fake. I never made any criminal write the letter in this fourth picture. Huh. Is he stupid? What is it? But seeing as I only had three photographs to work with, my deduction was perfect. No, it wasn't. He's the gonna, truth is, he's exposing there were four of them. If you'd figured that out, it would have been perfect. Always trying Even to upset him. you knew the message was incomplete, you decided that there were only three notes. You never even considered that there might be a fourth. What do you make of that? Damn him! This wasn't just about gauging my deductive reasoning skills. He wanted to see what my reaction would be. Wow. If I keep falling for his tricks, I'll be playing right into his hands. In any case, the likelihood this message will lead you to Kira is not very great. Besides, we all Interesting, know Interesting, because acting no humble if here is off-brand. Yeah. Be Kira, but it's so off-brand that it's suspicious. Mm -hmm. But that could be the plan. Yeah. What's incredible is that I've asked countless detectives that same question, and it took most of them minutes to even come up with an answer. But you, you immediately thought, he's thought of a about scenario it. in which Kira is speaking directly to the investigator. Oh, I'm impressed. You'll make a fine detective, Light. Oh, it's it's kind of <laughs> damning though. But it's though. a bit of a double-edged sword. The more impressive my answer is, the more of a suspect I become. Yes, it's about three percent now. However, it's made me that much more determined to work with you on this investigation. Interesting. You see, I'm in a position where even if you are, Kira, it would still be to my benefit to have you working alongside us. Do you know why I'd say that? If I cooperate with you, there's a chance I can help the investigation to move forward. And if I'm Kira, I might reveal myself. In other words, whether I'm Kira or not, you stand to gain either way. But I think you might be getting the wrong idea. It's true that I do have an interest in the Kira case, and yes, detective work is a hobby of mine. <laughs> but I know that I'm not Kira, and I certainly don't want to be killed by him. Besides, what proof have you been able to give <laughs> Sorry, me? Sorry, Winry is licking my toes so excessively right now. Besides, what proof have you been able to give me that you yourself aren't Kira? Ooh, I mean, it hardly seems fair for just one of us to be investigated, wouldn't you say? At this point, neither of us can prove that we're not Kira. However, if you are in fact L, I don't imagine it would be that hard for you to prove it to me. I think I'd be convinced if, say, my father or someone else from the task force headquarters was able to confirm your identity. If you can't do that, then I'm afraid I just won't be able to help you. His dad would be a good option. Yeah. You sure talk a lot, don't you, Light? Typical okay. for someone who hates losing. <laughs> You've got 7%. Could it really be him? What? I don't remember saying you couldn't meet anyone from Task Force Headquarters. That's seven now. My identity. Huh? Now, if I understand you correctly and I take you to Task Force Headquarters, you'll help us with the investigation. Am I safe in making this assumption? Does this Whoa. guy have a death wish? I don't understand. What's he thinking? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Oh, there goes mine. Yes? Ryuzaki, I have some bad news. Light, your father is... Light, it's your... Did he kill his fucking dad? He had a heart attack. No, he didn't kill his dad. I mean, that's one way to fucking dispel the rumors. What if he had a heart attack just because he was so stressed from the case? Like, it was a natural one. We saw him being overworked. I mean... And you would feel like it was his... Oh my god. Oh, 
I was going to say it Light killed his dad. That's a terrible thing. Separately. Uh, maybe he did. Separately. Great way to just completely rid himself of suspicion. However, what if it, he didn't actually do it and he had a heart attack because of the stress or just because? Like, heart disease is rampant. It like, depends on if he dies. Yeah. Because heart attacks don't have to kill. That's true. They're not necessarily fatal. Yeah. They say he's had a heart attack. Mm, I don't buy that that's a coincidence. We'll have to see. Is he gonna make it? Okay, what? See you tomorrow. Have them call home if you need me to bring anything. Light, you take care of him, okay? Sure. Okay, so I think the dad must be alive then. Okay. So the doctors think stress was the only cause? Yeah. To be honest, I thought it was Kira when I first collapsed, but I'll be all right. It seems mm. I've been pushing myself a bit too hard lately. It must have added to your stress knowing that Light is a suspect in this investigation. You actually told my father that? Yes. In fact, I've told him everything. It's true, he even knows that I am ill. Uh, uh, so now it's confirmed. Mm -hmm. This man is ill. To protect his identity, we on the task force refer to him as Ryuzaki. But make no mistake, it's him. Whoa. This guy is the real L. My father wouldn't lie. The very same man who's been controlling the police up to this point. If I get rid of him and the rest of the investigative team, no. No, let's face it. It wouldn't be that simple. Interesting he's referring to, to it as getting rid of them. Yeah. Time to sit back and watch. It's like less human. But for now, I'm the light Yagami who's worried for his father. The way he's selecting you know that, you've had the yeah. chance to talk to my son is he cleared as a suspect? <laughs> when I say nope, he's 8% more likely. Ryuga, I'd like to help with the investigation. Oh my, my god. My father has erased any doubts I might have had regarding your true identity. Also, I'd like nothing more than to catch Kira so I can prove once and for all that I'm not him. Besides, don't you remember my promise? That if something ever happened to you, I would find Kira and make sure he gets executed. Whoa. I refuse to believe that my son could turn out to be Kira. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. This doesn't seem like an act to me. Or if it is, it's too cheesy. <laughs> Light, listen to me. Kira is pure evil. We can all agree on that. But recently I've started thinking of this whole situation in a different way. What is truly evil is the power to kill people. And any person who has come to possess this kind of power is cursed. No matter how you use it, no true happiness can be obtained like that, not by killing other people. Whoa. I think you're absolutely right. I wonder what Light thinks of that. If mm -hmm. Kira is just a normal person who somehow obtained this awful power, I would say that he's cursed. Excuse me. Visiting hours were over 10 minutes ago. <laughs> wow, they really... I wonder what Light's going to think of that. Is that going to just, like, make him want to change at all? Okay. Yeah. What would it take to get you to believe that I'm not Kira? Please, isn't there something? If you aren't Kira, it won't be necessary. Let things run their course and the truth will be revealed. I can't take this anymore. Put yourself in my position. How do you think it feels to be accused of being Kira? It was one of the worst feelings ever. What if you were to lock me up for a month in a place with no TV or any other kind huh. of access to the outside world and keep a constant watch over me? Would any normal person be willing to go to such extreme measures to clear their name? That's no good. I can't do anything that would deprive you of basic human rights. Like, oh assuming, yeah, let me do that now. Yeah, assuming he is Kira, he obviously has prepped for that contingency because yeah. of course you would suggest something that would seem to exonerate you, but you've already discovered a workaround for. Yeah. So that's too obvious. Mm -hmm. It's crazy that they're just interacting casually now. Yeah. And furthermore, it's complete nonsense for the investigator to take suggestions from his suspect. I understand. Don't worry so much. Be patient. It'll become apparent to us if you're not Kira. And listening to that conversation between you and your father, I was almost convinced you might not be him. <laughs> Light, please take good care of Mr. Yagami. Oh, one more thing. I know I agreed to help with the investigation, but I don't think I'll be able to do much until my father is healthy again. Yes, of course. Well then. So we avoided Hideki Ryuga. Too much suspicion Ryuzaki. for now. Mm -hmm. He's the L I've been fighting this whole time. But what is his real name? He's gotta get those Shinigami Mikey eyes. Yagami. 
Are you not Kira? Ryuk. Wow, he's starting to question it. Okay. I've never once felt cursed since I picked up the Death Note. In fact, the thought never even crossed my yeah. mind. Yeah, kind of had to be I'm stated. I'm happier than I've ever been, all thanks to this power. Whoa. Okay, I'm going that's to create weird. a perfect world. Honestly, I could care less whether you feel cursed or happy to have a notebook. Yeah, he just I that wants to be entertained. to you humans. But normally humans who come into contact with a Shinigami have nothing but misfortune. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Perfect. But yeah. I have no intentions of repeating that pattern. <laughs> well, I hope you're right about that. You people must think that just mentioning Kira's name is enough to get us the ratings we need, huh? Well, you're wrong. Our program gets the ratings because we cover the stories that the other stations won't touch. If it bleeds, it leads. What I need mm. is a good freaking story, not this crap. Now get out there and find me a story. No smoking sign. But the police <laughs> won't talk, sir. It's been impossible to get details from them lately. Idiot! I don't pay you to complain. If they won't give you anything, then get creative! Mr. Dimagawa, sir, this is for you. What is it? So who is this from? Huh? Glasses. <laughs> now this is more like it. This is what I call a story. It's almost too good to be true. A message it to the world is. from Kira. If okay. you do not broadcast these tapes, I will kill your company's board of directors one by oh, one. Yeah. Whoa. Who wouldn't air these? If this is for real, our ratings are going to go through the roof. Holy crap. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm having a heart attack here. Interesting. Wow. And now the video. <clears throat> I am Kira. The news anchor, Mr. Kazuhiko Hibima, will die of a heart attack at exactly six o'clock. What? Change it. What? He's gonna have them. No way. <sighs> It can't be. Well, that was episode 10 of Death Note. What are your first thoughts? Holy shit. I want to know what's in this note. So we do have it on the mode where it's going to tell us what stuff says when we need to know it. I don't think we're supposed to know it there. Cool. Yeah, but an interesting way to access the media and everything. But that was a great episode. Any first thoughts before we jump into discussion? The back and forth continues between Light and L. I feel like up until this point, L's perception of Light has been like, I can't rule him out. And that moment in the car was the first time. But now he's really starting to question if he's wrong yeah. for suspecting him. I mean, that's like a pretty big shift, it's especially to go from I can't say you're not to I think you're not. Yeah. And I think that honestly, the most interesting thing would be if he eventually clears suspicion and joins the team and then we go from there. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see where it goes. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe down below and check out the Patreon link in the description below to support us as creators and see these episodes in their extended uncut forms. We have a lot to discuss before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Okay, question one. Miss Breadloaf asks, at the end of the episode, we see tapes that were delivered to the television station from Kira, with Kira inflicting death threats upon the board of directors of Sakura TV. What do you think could be on the tapes that are so important? What do you think Kira's intentions are? My intuition with the tapes was not so much that like the information must be so important that he's threatening to kill, but that he wants that information to be broadcasted so badly yeah. that he would kill for it. Like I didn't interpret that as like a degree of severity of the note, more like how important the information is or how critical that information being shared is to like a step of his plan. Yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what these are. Like, are they going to be threats to L or like L reveal yourself? I don't know. Like, it's 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 a calculated move, but I, I'm failing to see exactly what it could be. Yeah, me but too. But it's it's a way to reach a media source, maybe to get the people against L somehow. Yeah. Like L's wasting his time on a high school student or something like that. Like, I don't know. But uh, there's a lot of tapes, so we're going to have to see. But that is definitely a mystery that has been doled out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see. Let's go to question two. All right. David L. asks, what do you think of Detective Yagami's thoughts on Kira and the Death Note? That the power to kill is a curse and the true evil. Do you think light is cursed? 
Do you think he could have been a different person if he had never come across the notebook? That's a fascinating thing because I do think he'd be an entirely a different thousand person. Percent. I do think he's cursed in that way because like he had regret after the first kill and the second one. And then he just kind of snapped and said, instead of facing the guilt of that, I'm going to justify it by being God. And then he ascended to a level of egotistical godhood that like he never would have gotten to without it. And this thing obviously is going to end up with him getting Shinigami on eventually he's gonna lose half of his life which is a curse in and of itself and and the burden of having to escape all these people is also a curse but the only thing that i think keeps it from being a full-on curse is that light is so smart that he almost enjoys this so like how else would he want to spend his time i think that would be his argument is like what other life would i want other than this sometimes i think people who end up in situations like that where it's like a, oh had they not been given this like one critical puzzle piece they wouldn't have ended up there and like yeah he wouldn't have ended up in the exact same place but i also don't foresee a situation where he has like just a normal career even if he's amazing at it and that being enough for him yeah. so i think he would have done something that's like about this level of moral and ethical i am so smart and i know so much better than everyone that i am above rules and just general perception like, like i just hell. need to do exactly so i think like probably numbers wise he would be less damaging but the like base human part of him that is like enjoying this i think that was always there yeah i agree it it just needed to be awakened especially by something else yeah um but yeah let's go to our final question final question seven deadly sins asks it makes sense why l would want to get close to light since he is the pursuer in the classic sense that being said do you think light is being too confident or even conceited thinking he won't get caught even walking into the lion's den hq you're going through several levels of thought here's the thing yes and no because obviously yeah he's way overconfident because he's guilty however if you were not guilty the only thing that would make sense to be is overconfident yeah so if you're gonna act not guilty you have to act in a way that doesn't make any fucking sense for your given position yep because if you act any other way it's so damning yeah so like walking into hq it's sure it's the lion's den but like the act of him walking in gives him a certain amount of shield that he can only get by doing something that rash exactly like i was watching this like lie detector thing the other day and the person who was administering the lie detector said like you know that if you were guilty this would be really stupid of you to do right and he was like oh yeah no this would be like really done and he was guilty and it showed it on the lie detector test but realistically if he had been able to trick the lie detector test which has happened before yeah. like some people have it's the ability not a reliable to do that system at all. it's not reliable it's just it's like your bodily responses but so if he had been able to just like keep his heart rate super stable and it showed that he was being truthful then the fact that he went and took the lie detector was like a great call on his part yeah right but i mean it's the epitome of why people use the like oh well, if you're not guilty, can we get a DNA sample? Yep. And it's like, okay, if you say like, oh no, well then you're so and, obvious. And that's what Elle did this entire episode is mm -hmm. it was present him with situations where he kind of had to give a certain answer. Mm -hmm. But like the way Light would call him out and be like, well, you're kind of giving me situations where I can only have one answer. It kind of disrupts Elle's system. Like it, it's, it's fascinating that he both has, he, either he's catching Kira or he's getting a really good asset for his team. Mm -hmm. And like, it's fascinating that he both is enjoying his deductive skills and believing more and more that he's Kira. Like, it's weird that correlation. Yeah. Well, I think it makes a really interesting point that, like, what L is getting out of this or what he enjoys about it is not the saving people, yeah. which is a similar thing that we're seeing with Light, that, like, in the beginning, it's like, oh, you know, this is this horrible thing and I don't want to, but, like, you know, in order to save people, like, I guess, like, okay, I'll do yeah. it. And then trans transitioning to a place where he's like I am Kira just like telling people oh that God. right before they get possessed to go you know to like do whatever he wrote down like that is so fucked up and so undeniably selfish like he yeah. doesn't gain and any it, it's so dumb like he does not gain anything in his like quest for a better world that's just 
evil. It's yep. just evil. And it's definitely not on the exact same scale, obviously, because choosing to help people for the sake of helping people versus helping people for the sake of you find it really interesting. Like you're still doing a good thing. That's very different from I'm killing people, but it's for a ethical yeah. reason versus I'm killing people because I want to and it's fun. Like those are two very different things, but they are changing what should be the actual motivator of like good people in those positions. Like no, I'm not gloated. saying he did it for fun, but he gloated for fun. Yeah. Like there are things that he's doing that he doesn't need to do for the sake of the greater good that yeah. he's just doing because he likes it. I agree. And it's going to be interesting to see if the gloating is going to end up being his downfall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's about it for this episode. Our next episode, episode 11, Assault, is going to be coming this Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to watch it right now, these episodes are all posted to Patreon right now. All right. Uh, are we excited for episode 11 of Death Note? Can't wait. All right. Let's get it. Let's go.